Now I would like to hand over the diets to Dr. Kapil Kalra, who will be speaking on a tectonic shift in implant dentistry, a solution to every situation. Dr. Kapil Kalra, sir. We have in our uh, curriculum tried to uh, have the entire bouquet in such a way that we start off with the introduction in the morning session. We go on to the surgical phase so that everyone is acquainted with the entire proceedings, followed by the uh, prosthetic phase which happens tomorrow morning to a more complicated and complex cases as to how to handle uh, more complex maxillofacial situations, followed by what not to do. So without much ado, Dr. Kapil, you're most welcome, sir. The dice is yours. Give him a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Thank you, Dr. Rahul, sir, for the kind introduction. First of all, I would like to thank the Soili Committee, who has done all the efforts to make this conference successful. And also I would like to thank all the participants who have tried to come on time and they're here. So I see a mixed crowd of experienced implantologists, some who are a little confused whether to choose cortico vessel as an option for the treatment of their patients. So I would start with my topic as we are already a little late. So my topic is tectonic shift in implant dentistry a solution to every situation. As we all are well aware about the tectonic shift, previously the world used to look like this. You know, the, this is our India and we had neighbors, Australia, Antarctica, Africa. And then in the Earth's lithosphere, some things started to change. The plates started to move like this. The plate started to move and then slowly, slowly all the map of the world changed. And the present map which we can see, you know, this is our beloved country. You can see how the change is happening. Now it is the present situation. This is the world map now. So things change with time. That's what I am trying to tell you about. I am feeling a tectonic shift. I am feeling a change in the implant dentistry because I am a general practitioner. Day to day I see different conditions. Previously I used to work like this. Many of the implantologists who are attending either first time, they are also used to work like this. When patient used to come and ask for the implant treatment, I used to give him this option that we'll be doing multiple surgeries, multiple incisions, and then we will be putting grafts if there is no bone availability. And then in maxilla, we used to do sinus lifts. And lots of armamentarium was required. You know, for everything, there was a separate kit. If we are supposed to do a ridge split, a separate kit is there. If you are supposed to do sinus lift, a separate kit is there. So lots of armamentarium. If you see a catalog of a conventional implant, there will be three to five pages of the sizes and 15 to 20 pages of the prosthetic part. So I was used to do all these things. And when if the patient used to come with no dental bone or alveolar bone, so it was difficult for me to rehabilitate. For many time, for four or five years, I have done like that only. Then I came to know about a system which, is, which was called at that time strategic implantology. Now it is famously called corticobasal implant system. So when I shifted to it, then a tectonic shift take, took place in my implant dentistry and it was like flapless. Everything, 99% of the cases which the people are doing in this system, they're all flapless and there is almost no contraindication. 99% of the cases we can treat easily with this system. No grafts, people were doing bypasses, no bypass, sinus bypass. So it was quite, you know, intruding for me to what is happening. I'm